what's fatiguing? Giving the fake laugh, man. Customer service means you gotta give the fake laugh at least 60 to 70 times a day. So you're just like fake laughing nonstop all day? And you can't tell when I'm fake laughing, you guys? I just assume you're always fake laughing to me, so. Well, correct assumption. <laughs> <laughs> there is nothing worse than the fake laugh. Getting a fake orgasm, that's gotta feel worse. Getting a fake one? No. <laughs> like if a woman oh tells God, you she how would I, how would I know? Are you saying that you may not have a 100% success rate? Uh, with the misses? In, in the bed? No, it's definitely 100%. You couldn't tell I was fake laughing. It's different. <laughs> <laughs> Bro Patrol, welcome to Hashtag Bro Blog for October 27, 2014. And finally, I can talk about something I haven't had a chance to talk about since, well, July when I happened to be there. My good friends Tony and Rose of RetroCon fame actually got to film a segment for Comic Book Men. How cool is that? And of course, now it was Rose who was going into the show and selling something. You'll see those clips in just a moment. Thanks, AMC. But you may see a couple guys in the background in a couple of these clips as well. One might be the infamous and famous Tony, um, Mr. Tusky himself, the husband of, I was going to say wife, but husband of Rose there, and maybe some host of a show called The Bro Show or something. We know, the real star of this show, right? No, no. Actually, it's going to be Rose. You want to check out these clips right now. God, no. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is awesome. That does look great, That's man. Awesome. Great Black Widow costume. You should have went the full 10 yards. You got the red wig, though, right? No, you didn't just say Black Widow. Seriously? That's the Baroness from G.I. Joe. But I got to ask, so why are you dressed like this? This is actually something to inspire you to buy something off me. And that is a Baroness on card. It's 1984. Oh, wow. All right, now we're talking. Step back, let me see your costume here. It's like she it's like she just walked out of the car. Excellent job, my friend. In the whole G.I. Joe world, there were like, what? Maybe three females? Yeah, there yeah, was Scarlet, very few. There's Lady J, and then there's the Baroness. You know, everybody had to have it. No, you didn't like have a crush on any of the female characters as Come a kid? On. Come on. Did they have a crush on a three and a half inch plastic toy? Oh. Your wife does. <laughs> <laughs> She was the best out of all of them, though, if you ask me. And I'm a big Cobra fan, so I don't concentrate on the G.I. Joes as much. I like that. <laughs> the characters were much more interesting. G.I. Joe was right in my wheelhouse. That was what I collected, and I always thought the Baroness was a badass character. And I was always a fan of the evil side. Always gravitated toward evil for some reason. <laughs> What's all really the kind of thing you want to admit to friends? <laughs> I was always gravitating toward evil. <laughs> Cats went missing. <laughs> Where did you get this? I got this at a JoeCon several years back. But um, I need to sell it for animal charities now. Cats that have diabetes and stuff, they don't get adopted out as easily. So I want to help out with that any way I can. So the Baroness has a heart, then? I do. Yeah. That's very admirable. What do you want for it? I was thinking... 75. But what does it go for on the aftermarket today? I mean, this is basically a loose figure. It's been out of the packaging. It's ripped. On the plus side, it's unpunched. Yeah, I noticed that. There's that's, no... That's big. This is a tough figure to find, so we could probably get about 75 bucks for it. I mean, if we're going to go even close to that, $40. Come on, you POS. <laughs> so you say, come on. Right. This is about a, this come is about on. a charity. This is about kitty. Oh, my God. Right, you know what? You know what? Me, Bry, and Zap here will put in 25, and you don't have to worry about being taken advantage of by the Baroness. No, 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 I'll throw some money in, too. All I'll right. throw some money. You uh, can throw in my 25. Fine. Here, here you go. Okay. All right, Baroness. Thank you, you darling. Thank you. Have fun helping me out. I'll come out in my regular clothes later and see if you can guess who I am. Oh. An annoying customer? Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Keep doing the good work. Wow, I gotta say, Rose did awesome, and she got a little extra cash for her charities? Come on, Miss Rose, that's great. I can't believe it. And you looked great in your Baroness outfit, and come on, Ming was just, wow, that was cool. So, it was very cool. We got to see the whole production kind of set up, how they do it, how you go into the room, you get some craft services, food, and everything. It was very fun to do, and I want to give a big, big shout-out to Tony and Rose for allowing me to come out on this kind of fun trip with them to Red Bank, New Jersey, when they filmed this back in July. It was very cool. We couldn't talk about it until it aired. It's aired, so now I can talk about it. It was just fun. 
Thank you guys very much. Thank you to the guys at Comic Books Men at the Stash for help, helping us hang out with them. And thank you to AMC Networks for taking Miss Rose and helping her out with her kitty charities. You guys have a great day. Remember, this was a great example of hashtag just bro it, do a good deed today. And as always, rock on everybody. Hmm, you know, I've been in the background now of two cable TV shows, Toy Hunter and Comic Book Men. Maybe they should just put me on my own show. Hmm, let's make that happen. Let her write in campaign. Find a network, see if they'll get me on there. Um, except maybe, um, Oxygen. I don't think Oprah would like me. You guys have a great day. Rock on! <laughs>